Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about these new bikes that I got. Granted, they're not Teslas, this is the Tesla. But I got some electric bikes because being middle-aged, wanting to ride bikes and realizing that I can't do what I did when I was 20, I saw some ads for these electric bikes that give you pedal assist. I mean, they have throttles that allow you to go without pedaling, but they give you five different modes of pedal assist, which is gonna make my life easier trying to ride bikes. But also these are foldable bikes. I primarily got them so when we go camping, I could fold them up and stick them in the trailer, but they're also foldable and able to be put into the Tesla. So today I'm gonna talk a little bit about the bike, show you some of the features of the bikes. Then we're gonna fold the sucker up, stick it in the back of the Tesla and go for a ride. So join me today, checking out these bikes. So what we have here today are the electric XP 2.0 step through bikes. Um, this is the second generation of electric bikes. They had an earlier version, the electric XP. And within the last year, they came out with electric XP 2.0. There's some features that are different on this bike versus the older bikes. The, even though they have fat tires, these aren't as fat. Um, the battery has a little bit less capacity than the earlier bikes. Um, but I'm not gonna go through all the differences and features today. I just wanna kinda show you the bike, show you what they're like. Um, they do retail for $999, $999. Right now, I think they have a sale, and I got them on sale a couple of months, about a month ago for $949. Um, so if you watch, you can get sales. Um, they're pretty cool bikes. Um, so as you can see, a um, couple things. Uh, they have headlight, they have a mount for a front rack, which we didn't get. They also have a rear rack, which I actually got this saddlebag to put on so I can put stuff like my phone and my wallet when I'm riding a bike. The seat's not as wide as I wanted. I actually purchased a comfort package, which is going to have a comfortable wider seat with a uh, shock absorber on it to make that ride easier. It does have shock absorbers in the front. These are oil or hydraulic. Um, shock absorbers so you can actually um, turn them off turn them on i leave them on because i like them really nice fenders for the tires but the neatest thing about these bikes is how they fold up so let me show you real quick how the bikes fold up so it's pretty easy to fold these bikes up um, and they fold up pretty small so let's take this and show you real quick put the kickstand up the first thing you do is you actually open up the bike right here now i've taken the battery out already usually the battery is in here and I'll show you the battery in a minute. The battery is, is, is water resistant, um, not waterproof. I think you can, you can immerse the bike, but you can ride through water, ride in rain, and it's not gonna affect the battery. But if you open this lock up, then you can fold the bike, actually, and the, the foot pedals go in. The bike will actually fold up pretty small. And then the handlebars, will go down and they fold up as well. So as you can see, folds up pretty darn small. Now, the bike itself is not the lightest bike. It is about 60 pounds, um, well, enough where I can pick it up, um, but it's a little bit heavy. But that's something that I thought when I got it, I could maybe fit both of them in the back of the Model Y. Not really, I can fit one laying down. But I can fit it in the back of the Model Y, and I can also fit it in the back of my 2500 truck. I can put two of them in there, fold it up. The battery is a 48 volt, 9.6 amp hours battery. Uh, the original one was a little bit bigger. I'm not sure why they made it smaller on the newer version. Um, and it actually has a key that's required to run it. So the key actually will lock the battery in place and then make it so you can drive the bike. If you take the key out of the battery, you can't use the battery, it's, it's not usable. So it's something that's a little bit of a security device. Um, usually um, I take the key out when I'm going somewhere. Um, but let's show you how the battery actually goes in the bike. So the battery goes right in here, which is in the bulk of the bike. A lot of batteries on electric bikes are outside the bike. This one actually is in the bike. Interesting to note, you can't have the key in when you take the battery in or out. You have to have the key out. Uh, the key actually goes up through the bottom of the bike. The battery slides in, and then once you put the key in, it will lock the battery in place. See right here, there's a little lock. When I turn the key, the, lock, the actual the, uh, little lock part pops out, which locks the battery in place, and then I can shut the bike up. Re-engage the lock, and the battery's in place. 
So let's put this thing back together again real quick. It does come together pretty fast. There we go. Now we're all back together with the battery in place. And you can see the key does hang out down here. It comes with two keys. Um, I keep one key in the house. The second key is down here. And that's what allows the bike to go. As you can see, the tires are not normal bike tires, but they're not true fat tires. They're three inch tires, 20 by three inch tires. Um, really good for taking them out in the dirt and also on the pavement. And they're not the traditional huge four inch tires that are kind of harder to manipulate. You can see here, here's the light, which is a high beam light. I actually rode this on the bike trail at night. Did a great job. Here are the mounts for the front basket, which I do not have. I bought this water bottle thing extra. I also bought this back bag extra. You can see that is the back rack. Let me show you my wife's without the thing. There's the back rack. In addition, it has a tail light in the back of the bike. Here you can see the motor. The motor is a 500 watt brushless hub motor. The bike, as you can see on the sticker, is a class two electric bike. Uh, top speed is 20 miles an hour. You can unlock it and go up to 28 miles an hour pedal assisted and make it a class three bike. But class three bikes aren't legal everywhere. I've kept it at a class two. But Something to note, both the handlebars and the seat, this is a really relatively low bike as you'll see when I'm on it, but the seat and the handlebars are both adjustable. And tuck it all the way up to there. This makes it pretty tall and the handlebars go up higher as well. And I'm a pretty tall guy, but I am comfortable on this bike. This is the display on the bike. To turn the display on, there's an on-off switch here. There's the on-off switch. If I hold it down, it turns on, and it gives me a number of things. It will tell me the energy bar, which is not as reliable as looking at the actual um, amps left on the battery. It tells you your speed, what your level of um, pedal assist is, and how many miles I've gone. I've gone 18 miles so far. And if you hit the power button again, it will scroll through. That's my trip miles. It'll tell me my voltage. And as that drops down to like 42 or 43, that's when you have an issue. And that's when you'll see this energy bar get lower. But I like to look at the voltage instead of the energy bar. It's not as reliable. It tells us our current voltage that's being used, which is zero because we're not moving. It'll tell me how long that's been on for this particular session. You can also turn on the headlight by actually holding down the plus key. That will turn your headlight on. Holding down the plus key again turns it off. Also the tail light. And the plus and minus key are what you're gonna use for pedal assist. So we're starting off with zero. As I start to pedal, I can turn pedal assist on. In fact, I can have it on now, but then the bike would jump. And you can go up, up, up for pedal assist one and two. It does also have gears it has a seven gear shimano gear system as you can see on here it's got disc brakes both front and rear disc brakes it's a turny system in the back there's the shimano gears with the turn the turny gear changer and i'm not a bike guy as you can tell obviously in addition here as you can see is the oil or hydraulic shocks and then you can again you can lock them off and you can keep them open so they work so Handles you can see are kind of air, air, ergonomically designed. This is your throttle right here. So when you pull back, it actually engages the throttle, which you can do instead of pedaling. So if you're pedaling and use pedal assist, as you pedal a couple of rotations, it'll kick on. If you just want to use a throttle, almost like a moped, you can turn the throttle and it will take you. Now, right now I have it on zero, so it's not going to go. Otherwise, the bike would have taken off on me. So that's the bike. Let's show you how it fits in the back of a Tesla Model Y. All right, let's show you how we put this bike in the back and we'll do a time lapse. It's that easy, literally that easy. In fact, I have the back seats down. Which 
I don't need the back seats down. Well, now that we have her all packed up, let's take it for a ride. All right. All right, get it back to my tall height, <laughs> not the short height. Don't forget to flip the pedals out. And ready to go. Son-in-law's got a one wheel. Ooh. Where are we going to? Hold on, there we go. Gotta watch the speed. This thing goes fast. Right now I'm on pedal assist one and Going that hill, don't really need it. And like I said, it's got the seven gear Shimano, so it really helps with getting the right speed and the right cadence. This will be nice going up the hill, the pedal assist for sure. Ooh, sorry if the windy, windy, windy. Sun law is a little slow. Pedal assist now. <laughs> there we go. It is so nice when you hit a place where it's a little bumpy or it's a little got a little incline. You just turn that pedal assist on and it just goes. Going over the Sacramento River. So right now, get it up to 20 miles an hour, pedal assist four. Usually I like to cruise at about pedal assist two, 15 miles an hour, it's kind of nice. But it's nice to go faster when you need to. So my pedal assist two, I'm going 14.4 miles an hour. Comfy pace. You're still getting some of it a workout. You're still pumping, still moving those legs, but just not as hard as it is when you're <laughs> riding a regular bike. And a lot more range. I mean, I can go eight, nine miles, no problem. Um, this bike does have a range of supposedly 45 miles, but that would be pedal assist one. And that would be hardly using it at all. Um, I think on pedal assist two with a full battery. I could probably get 25, 30 miles easy. Whatever you want. So yeah, with pedal assist two, I think I could get 25 miles. I do weigh quite a bit, uh, 100, 280-ish. So. That does factor into my efficiency hills, factor into my efficiency, but 
it's plenty for me. I don't know that I wouldn't want to go much more than 20 miles an hour in a city. So. You did win. Sure, where? Okay, we're gonna try some off roading. Hello. So we got a little off roading with some rocky gravel straight. Got some dirt, got some gravel. Handles it no problem. And also that front shock helps quite a bit to absorb the jarring impacts. Although it's probably pretty, bounced pretty good on the iPhone. And the wide tires definitely help too. Pretty versatile bike, pretty much. Oh, you got this hill, you got this hill. Oh wow, much easier with pedal assist. Ooh, and we got the Sundial Bridge up here. So this is the Sundial Bridge designed by Antonio Caltrava, I believe, or something like that. we have down here by the Sacramento River. Lovely evening. And 50.6 volts left. So you can see the energy bar is full after six and a half miles, but we did use up about four volts. Uh, 42 minutes. And the cool thing is that even though I'm 51 out of shape, 100, 280 pounds ish, um, I could ride the bike no problem. I could ride it for almost an hour six and a half miles and not even breathing hard so well that's the electric xp 2.0 step through um really love the bike i also love the company um the company is electric and they're based out of phoenix arizona and when i ordered the bike i think i got it within like two weeks once I got it, I found on my wife's, the battery actually, when I pulled the battery out, the back shell was actually cracked. Sent them an email, sent them a picture. Two days later, they had a brand new battery, which are retailed at $300 in the mail to me, received it within a week. Then I noticed my rack on my bike 
there were some parts where the paint did not apply and there was a little bit of paint missing and a little bit of rust. Sent them a picture of that a couple of days later and literally three days later, they had a brand new back rack in the mail to me. So they really take care of their customers and uh, it's a local company, it's family owned. So I did not get sponsored for this bike. I paid for the, both of these bikes on my own at the current sale price, which is 949. But I do love them and just want to show them to you and I want to show you how they will work in a Tesla Model Y. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.